lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you may or may not know, I have been doing hair color, hair styling on set, in salon, events, everything for about 8 to 10 years. A long, 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 long time. And I personally like to do shortcuts and, and keep it fast and keep it simple. So a lot of my clients ask me how I get very like Victoria's Secret, voluminous, beachy wave hair like this. So I am going to show you my simple, fast way to do it. So if you want to know how I did this hair, keep watching. Okay, so my hair has been sectioned in half and I try to part it kind of in the middle as much as I can. If your hair length is kind of here or below, I think that it's a little bit more flattering and a little bit more sexy when it's a deeper part, it doesn't matter which side, but I think it's a sexier, more chic look when it's a deeper part if your hair is around here or below. One of my favorite products um, to eliminate flyaways and you don't have to blow dry it, uh, flyaways and um, kind of like frizz and to add shine and I am super super low maintenance when it comes to styling my hair. So this Awapuhi Paul Mitchell primer, I've used this for like the past eight years and I put this on wet hair and I let it air dry or I blow dry. So I have super super frizzy um, like very stubborn hair right here in the front mainly because I have uh, cowlick so this lifts up and this kind of like lays a little bit better but throughout the day I have like all these little hairs that are sprouting up and sometimes I'll do like a slick back look or I'll do a wet look and people ask me what I use I have gone through so many gels and products and I've tried so many from high end to low end and my favorite gel, literally, I called this store every single day because it was sold out online, on Amazon, and everywhere, is Hans de Fuco Gel Treat Extreme Hold Flexible Non Flaky. Now, this gel lasts me a long, long, long time. I use this to do a slick back look, to do a tight ponytail and add shine. I use this to tame flyaways. I use this to do like a nice chic straight look. I use this gel all the time. And I was jumping for joy today because it was finally in the stores. It's sold out everywhere. Hans de Fuco and it runs 20 bucks. It doesn't flake. Um, once you comb it out, it still holds the hair in place, but it doesn't get crispy or anything like that. Um, I just love this gel so so much second one that I ride or die for and I've been using this and I will use it over and over again in my kit on set personally is American English Let's see if it can focus American English sea berry dry oil it eliminates frizz and static amazing shine rich in omega-369 what I like about this is that it's not uh, oil that has all these chemicals in it they actually have really good omega oils for your hair but this oil from all the shine sprays and oils that I've used before adds the most shine doesn't weigh it down doesn't make it look, make it look oily it makes it feel buttery soft um, and I use this for a wet look uh, tight ponytails when I do a nice straight look or I do waves this is the shine spray and I get this at Navy's. The last one that I'm going to mention, I barely use this because I don't like too much product in my hair, but it's the Wade Dry Shampoo and I'm going to show you a little bit of how I use dry shampoo to soak up oil but all to add, also to add volume in the hair. Um, another thing that I'm going to say, one of my favorites, because I have flyaways here and I have a lot of clients that um, have flyaways here, especially like my Asian and Filipino girls, They their hair lifts up here for some reason. And what I like to do is I like to get the clips and put it there when it's wet or dry while I'm getting ready. And then I get the other clip and I put it down like that. And I leave it in for like a couple minutes throughout the day or whatever and it just lays everything flat. If I'm doing like a effortless beachy wave or I'm doing a sleek straight look, I 
love these clips for that and it came in a pack of like six or eight. Next thing I'm going to say are my curling irons. Um, this one I love a lot and it's Paul Mitchell. I'm hoping they still sell this and this is a one inch I believe. It's ceramic so it's not going to burn the hair. See that smoke coming out? Okay. Um, another one, I don't remember where I got this, it's Andrew, and this is actually a really long curling iron, so it's good for, um, longer hair, see how long this is? I like this one, and this is a one, one and one fourth, I believe, and then to do my hair super, super quick, and just to have some bend and some smoothness in the hair, is this Paul Mitchell XL, and this is one and one and a half. Um, so those are my three for favorite curling irons that I use to kind of, depending on my mood and how I um, style my hair. So what we're going to do is, if you want to part your hair in the middle, that's how you're going to part it. My hair is fine, so I can pretty much get away with just parting it in half and having two sections like this. So I have one section and I have one section. The rule of thumb that you get um, is each section vertically is going to be as wide as the curling iron that you're using. So what I'm going to do is, because let's say you're doing your hair yourself, is, and I want you to grab your hair however you feel comfortable. My hair is long enough to where you might not even need a clip, um, but if it's easier for you, go ahead and use a clip. So, so. There's going to be different ways that you could curl your hair. So we get our curling iron. The rule of thumb to get beachy waves is to curl at the root. So we're going to hold it, wrap always away from the face, and we're going to leave an inch of the hair on the ends out. So you could use the clamp or you could wrap it. If your hair is frizzy and coarse, you want to use the clamp. If your hair is smooth, more Asian hair and straight, wrap it around. So, there's one section. Then we're going to get another section. And I'm going to repeat what I said earlier. Each section that you grab is going to be as wide as the curling iron that you're using. So now I'm going to curl at the root, like I said earlier, and wrap it around. And I'm going to hold it. The more you practice it, the more you're going to um, kind of know how long your hair should stay around the curling iron. So while I'm getting more towards the front section, I'm going to grab this piece up here. Obviously, if I grabbed it from down here, I wouldn't be able to get as close to the root when I'm grabbing it. So I'm going to get right here at the root because you want to hold it tight. Because the rule of thumb, like I said, for a beachy wave is to grab it at the root. So you're going to grab it, like I said again, leave an inch out of um, the curling iron. Because I don't want that super, super curly, we're still looking for like a natural wave. Let that go. So some pieces you might leave in longer around the iron, some not. Next, we're going to grab another section. We're going to wrap it around at the base of the curling iron, and then we're going to wrap it and then leave an inch out. If your hair doesn't hold curl that well, after you wrap it, hold it, kind of in the spiral a little bit more, then drop it. So now we're going to get the front section and we're going to wrap it. And I have bangs that are growing out also. So because I have bangs, I want it to kind of blend in a little bit. I'm going to lower the temperature a little bit to blend that in. What I'm going to do is take the ends slowly and kind of flip out away from the face, slowly and away from the face. So you're doing slowly away from the face, that motion. So you don't want to touch that. Do not touch that until everything else is done. So next we're going to grab the other section. Now even though it looks like that, don't worry about it. 
That's the back of your head. Nobody's going to see that except the back, the people in the back. So because I personally have a little bit of a harder time when it comes to curling this side of my hair, I'm going to use this. I'll use the clamp on this side. But like I said, with practice, you're going to learn how to, how long you want to leave the hair in. So what I'm going to do is wrap it around, bring it down, wrap it around, bring it down, wrap it around, bring it down. I lowered the temperature on this side because I'm using the clamp and obviously it would give me, um, it would give me tighter curls if I had the same temperature from the other side wrapped around. So I'm just feeding the hair into the curling iron for two seconds, leaving the end out and just letting it go. The less you think about how you're curling your hair as you're going, the more effortless it's gonna look. And really, I'm not just saying this, but how you comb it out is just as important, if not maybe more, than how you're actually curling it. Cause that's gonna be the deciding factor in how your beach waves turn out. We're gonna grab another section. So we're getting another section. And then, another section so depending on if it's easier for you also to wrap it like I said earlier if your hair is on the smoother side more Asian straight side you don't have to prep it or blow dry it um, and you could just start using um, the iron and wrapping your hair but if your hair is more coarse use the clamp and I would also use a bigger curling iron okay so then I'm gonna get that same section that I had on the other side with the little bangs that I had, slightly flip it out just so it blends with the rest of the hair. That's all I'm really looking for. I literally did my hair in maybe, I think it was like five minutes, I can't even. So, so I'm gonna um, get that clip. So this is what I do on a lot of my clients, a lot of people on set, this is what's most important to me. How you comb it out and how you finish it to me is super, super important. Let's start off first with the American English Sea Spray. Not Sea Spray, sorry, Shine Spray. The spray, I'm gonna spray maybe three, and I'm going to comb it down. And then what I'm gonna do is do one more. And I'm going to slowly comb out the curls with my fingertips. Slowly and slowly. And then do the same with the other side. Slowly and slowly comb it out. And because I have these clips earlier in my hair, it kind of like helps the hair hug the face like this. Now, to add kind of like that celebrity shine, shine hair, how do they do that? I'm gonna get that sh same shine spray, spray it from here down, and comb it out. And remember to wait until all the hair is cool before you do any of this. So now that I did the shine spray, so I have the gel that I'm using and that I love. Slide it through the hands and we're gonna tame any flyaways. This stuff literally lasts the entire day. So we're gonna do that and do that. Now this part is optional, you don't have to do this. But if you want more volume and bang for your buck, instead of buying texturizing spray, volumizing spray, dry shampoo, just use dry shampoo. That alone has enough grit to give your um, hair some body. So just for the purpose of this video, what you want to do is grab your hair like a claw like this, lift it up, and, sp and spray underneath. That's it. Do not go overboard. And then kind of Use this motion with your hair and lift it up. 
So you can see the difference between this side, oops, this side and this side. It's, it's more voluminous. And all I had was like one or two spritzes of it. So that's all you do. I'm gonna do this side just so it's more even. Like I said, lift up, spray underneath. That's really, really all you need. But that's pretty much so easy. And I've been doing hair for such a long time. I've been doing hair for like nine, 10 years. So I have practice. But I, I swear if you just practice this very simplistic routine, you'll do your hair in 10, 15 minutes. And I work with clients that have a lot more hair than I do, but still with this process and this routine, they can do their hair just as fast as me. Um, don't be scared. So I'm gonna repeat the products. Primer, gel, texturizing spray for volume, and shine spray. That's all you need to get like the beachy, effortless, Victoria's Secret look. Um, so I hope you guys learned. And if you have any questions, leave some comments down below. Bye, my lovelies.